this is really important here. There is a huge difference between engineering for sales conversions and engineering for scale. You hear today, there are lots of people that are, and I want you to, to get this. This is gonna be a big factor when talking about AOV. You hear a lot of people talk about sales conversion rate. What's your sales conversion rate? What should my sales conversion rate be? We got a 10% sales conversion rate. We got a 3% sales conversion rate. What, what am I shooting for on the front end? And blah, blah, blah. Uh, there is literally only one time that I look at sales conversion rate. The rest of the time, I, I, I don't care about sales conversion rate. To close the loop for you, the only time that I care about sales conversion rate is when we create new campaigns, whenever we create a new campaign, we always create what we call minimum viable funnels. So we don't create campaigns with upsells, with email follow-up, with all of that stuff when we're initially testing it. When we're initially testing it, oftentimes we might roll out with just the sales page, an order form, a thank you page, and that's it. And we'll test it to our house file. So we go to our house list first and we test it. I'm looking for a minimum of a 2% sales conversion rate. And so as long as we get a minimum of a 2% sales conversion rate from our own house file, we'll then bring the, bring the funnel, bring the campaign to cold traffic. We'll then add the upsells and everything else that we're going to be talking about and all the, all the follow-up. That is the only time I look at sales conversion rate. That's the only time I look at sales conversion rate. So 2% to your warm list, and yeah. then you now go to the cold list knowing that it's going to be less than 2%. It is. But it, you know you have the back end. You got, well, so, so you're absolutely correct, right? So you nailed it. But it's, I, I we, 2% to our own house file with a minimum viable funnel, meaning so I don't have, right, I don't, I don't have the, any upsells or downsells. There, you know, none of that, no bumps none of the stuff that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I know that if I go out to cold traffic, that my sales conversion rate will likely be lower than that 2%, but now we're going to turn that minimum viable funnel into a full-blown campaign. That full-blown campaign is what increases the average order value. The average order value, by increasing the average order value, I overcome the low conversion rate. See, so, so a while ago, uh, I think a couple years ago, I released this article, this, this essay, and it was titled something like The Great Tripwire Hoax, something like that, right? And, uh, and the argument that I was presenting in this, in this essay, and this is important for you guys, and so I want you to get this. The argument that I was presenting in this article was that it's not easier economically to make a tripwire work compared to a higher priced product. I wasn't saying that tripwires don't work. I wasn't saying that tripwires don't convert. I was saying that it's more difficult economically to make a tripwire offer work than it is to make a, um, a higher ticket offer uh, work. And I want to explain what I mean here because it illustrates this point right here. So I showed that, le that let's keep traffic costs the same, so maybe you're paying a dollar a click or two dollars a click or whatever it is, um, let's say just to keep the math real simple, um, and you're selling a tripwire, right? And maybe you got, it on, on the, so you're selling a seven dollar product. Well, in order to make that campaign work economically, in order, in order for it to work economically, what do I mean economically? I mean at a bare minimum, let's say, to get to break even to try to get to break even, right? To try to recoup your money. And that's, we'll talk later on about going negative. You have to have, call it, you know, about an 8% sales conversion rate, an eight to 10% sales conversion rate on the, on, on, on the tripwire. You then have to have like a 15% um, conversion rate on like a $97 upsell. Like, just trust me on the math. I did the math in the article, right? You gotta have like another 10% sales conversion rate on like a 199 second upsell. So you've gotta have a tripwire offer that's converting at about 8%. You've gotta have a first upsell that's converting at about 10%. You've gotta have a second upsell, or 15%. You've gotta have a second upsell that's converting at, at about 10%, and you will still struggle to get to break even. But now I want you to imagine selling, for argument's sake, a $2,000 product. You, have, you sell a $2,000 product 
without an upsell, without a single upsell, no upsell number one, no upsell number two, and instead of an 8% sales conversion rate, you have a half a percent sales conversion rate. A half a percent sales conversion rate. Well, on that campaign with a half a percent sales conversion rate, you could be making money on the front end. Yet with an 8% sales conversion rate on the tripwire offer, you could be getting crushed. And so at the end of the day, you see, I'm not in the business, you're not in the business of depositing sales conversion rate. Sales conversion rate doesn't pay the bills. At the end of the day, what I care about, what you're going to care about, is what does it cost me to acquire a customer and what is that customer worth? What does it cost me to acquire a customer and what is that customer worth? And so at the end of the day here, and this is what I want you to understand, okay? This is the point of this slide is this. And you're going to, we're building slowly to is that we engineer campaigns not based on sales conversion rate, but based on how much money we need to make back for every customer that we buy. Meaning, right, I, I don't care about the sales conversion rate. There are times, and you're going you're gonna to see this, there are times when I would happily take, eagerly take a lower conversion rate. A lower conversion rate. I would willingly say I'd rather take this conversion rate that's lower than this one that's higher. Give you an example just to get your wheel spinning. Right? Maybe you sell, maybe you have an upsell offer and the upsell offer is $49. And that upsell offer at $49 converts at 20%, let's just say, right? Um, and so uh, it converts at 20%. Uh, we test it against a $97 offer, and the $97 offer converts at 15%. Which would you rather have, 20% of 49 or 15% of 97? I'll take the 15% of 97 all day long. And the, the thing that I want you to start to understand is that engineering for scale is about engineering marketing that brings you back the most money per customer regardless of sales conversion rate. It's not about optimizing for sales conversion rate, it's about optimizing for customer value.